to another episode of Gov 101. I'm Jeff Knowles. I'm Marsha Hampton. And on today's episode, uh, we're going to cover some projects that are upcoming in the downtown area and actually all of, all of the city of Douglasville. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and wrap one of our projects up. Uh, I know, you know, this is not really a current event type show, but Gov 101 does give us the opportunity to tell the people how government is at work for them. So, uh, so we're going to go over a few projects today. Um, what are we going over, Marsha? I don't know. You started talking. I don't think I got a chance to say who I am. I'm Marsha Hampton, just in case anybody was concerned. You, yeah, I think you did say Did I say it? Hampton. I don't I'm remember sure saying it. Just tells you. So we're going to do the Plaza East okay. project. We're going to talk about it a little bit. All right. We're going to talk about some sidewalks. Okay. Your favorite. My favorite. You're at the conference center. Oh, I was like, sidewalks? When did no, I become your a fan favorite of sidewalks? the conference center. I was leading into okay. your favorite project. Okay. All right. And then uh, wrap up with uh, with one of the projects that we're just getting ready to finish up. Your favorite and or second favorite? I'll, all of them are fav my favorites. Sure, they, they are. are. They absolutely sure are. They I, are. I, 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 I get really excited whenever you know I'm bringing a, a project to completion. So okay. they're all my favorites. All right. They're, whether they're starting or ending or have completed, they're all favorites. Okay. Well, Plaza East, long time coming. I think there's some people Ooh. out there who don't even believe this will. It's Ever almost like place. the Highway 92 project. Yeah, it's close. Um, but we're getting ready to, uh, we've got a contract signed. That's right. I think we're, we got this, we're awarded this um, transportation enhancement money in 2003. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, yeah, coming up on 10 years. Yeah, so we call that TE money. Yes. Uh, it comes from, uh, comes filtered through the, from the federal government to the Georgia Department of Transportation and then they give it to us and we do some really good projects. That's right. Once we've completed all the tasks that Georgia Department of Transportation has for us. Right. So there's a lot of entities involved in it, and uh, we've now signed a contract, mm -hmm. and they're getting ready to groundbreak that thing on... I'm not naming a date. No. No, but we can say it'll be sometime in October. It, in, uh, the early part, in the early part of October. Uh, October 2011. We should yeah. be able to get a map up to the audience so they can see exactly where Plaza East is located. Where um, is it? Where is it located? It is... Uh, behind the stage cover? Well, not really, because there's private property that's behind the stage cover. So I just want folks to know that um, that we are upgrading the alley space that's behind the buildings on the Irish Bread Pub end of the plaza to precedence uh, if you're on Bankhead Highway side. And then if you're on Church Street, that's Uptown Dental to Dr. Robinson's building. So that gravel parking lot that's on Campbellton Street behind Uptown Dental all the way through the alley coming toward the plaza. So if I'm looking at the stage cover. I thought I was explaining it well. Did you have to go It ahead. would be that area. Behind the private parking lot that's owned by the Robinsons. It's, yes, behind, behind the stage. Between the Robinsons parking lot and the camp law office. Yeah. Yes. Behind the stage cover. So if you're but looking at the stage cover. The stage cover. Look, Beyond the private property, yes, and you'll be you'll be uh, seeing a lot of work. Uh, a lot of work being done. It's going to look a lot like Plaza West. Yes. Pavers. Pavers. Landscaping. Patios. Great. So the businesses there can sit outside and enjoy the nice, upgraded landscaped space. Will be very nice. Uh, parking lot. Parking lot. Not gravel. Not gravel. So. It's Easily it. accessible. Yes, a absolutely. Yes. So all of that area, um, newly upgraded. Mm -hmm. How long are we going to take on that project? Well, I heard nine months. So, uh, but are you the, and your staff, because usually once it gets to this point, when it gets very complicated with construction, I typically stand out. I go to the meetings, but I don't uh, focus on that end of it. You guys kind of take over from that part. Right. Yeah. We, we you know. We, we try to give us ourselves enough time. We, we've said nine months. I think I said a year at one point. It was probably so basically, you've just been shouting out numbers, numbers just for just reasons. Just random numbers. Just, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we'll probably finish it in a month or two. But I don't think a month. <laughs> no, it, it is going to take about uh, anywhere from nine months to 12 right. months. And that's all based on weather. So you try to give yourself a reasonable expectation mm -hmm. of when you can complete the project. Because, right. uh, you know, everybody knows Georgia weather. Anytime after... September, yes. It's, it's very sketchy. You have no idea. So where are people going to park? Uh, all over. All because over. we're taking away a parking lot. 
Yeah. And some parking spaces for businesses who are there. Call Marsha if you have a question about parking. And I say call Stephanie Elworth, who's the Main Street manager. Yeah, you just call Marsha. She'll take care of you. She's got a map, wonderful map. Shows where all the parking in the downtown area is. Um, but yeah, we are eliminating, what, 30 sm spaces maybe? Maybe Between the two small parking lots. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're, there's ample parking on the street. Uh, regions, uh, the DFB, old DFB mortgage right Correct. at the corner of Camelton Street and Correct. Church. Uh, there's also that Publix, public lot right in front of... Um, Behind a design center. Right there at design center. There's on-street parking. There's a variety of parking areas and you can go to the city's website. We have a parking map that's there. So if anybody's concerned about parking issues for themselves, their customers, or their employees, there are plenty of places to park, w even when construction commences and the bonuses construction workers will not be parked in the downtown taking up any of the no no spaces. they'll be they'll be in the uh, construction sites only so there's not mm -hmm. going to be a ton of parking for for that uh, city employees i think we've identified a place for them to be so that's correct uh, we, you know we, it'll be painless yeah. for uh, for a brief period but what we will get on the back end will be great. Yeah, it, it'll be worth it. It will, it be will worth absolutely it. just absolutely for a minor be. period of inconvenience. Yeah, absolutely. And on our website, uh, www.ci.douglasville. Did you say enough W's? www.ci.douglasville.ga.us. Uh, upper left hand corner, projects, updates. Conference Center, there's a bunch of stuff on there. We'll have Plaza be East there. We'll, we'll add all of our projects yeah. to make certain that folks have easy accessibility to knowing what's going on, what the timeline, and I'll try to. And I heard that I'm supposed to be tweeting. Yeah, you're a tweeter now. So what do you do to be, become a tweeter? I don't know. You're going to have to talk to Chris on that. I don't actually tweet. So. Oh, Chris tweets? Chris is a Chris the Womack, uh, Chief of Police for the City of Douglasville. He's a tweeter. Is a tweeting machine well i am a fan of the chief so maybe on facebook can... or on tweet on twitter no, just like personally oh okay yeah yeah so i'll just have a chat with him about how to tweet and if i think if he he may point you in a different direction but i, I know that it was set up and he does a great job at keeping okay. everybody up to date and all right. Well, I'll do that. I'll try to become on Facebook and Twitter, and his, and they're both linked together, so you don't really. So have he's to do very it. savvy. I'm not, I'm not real savvy. Yeah. No. He's he's a communication machine. Okay. And it's all about getting the word out. I'll have to contact the chief to find that so out. So that's that helps the people understand how how we all work as a team. So we got tweeting, website, and of course city TV. Absolutely. And where else can you find information about what's going on with these projects? Uh, you can call Marsha Hampton. <laughs> Seven seven zero nine two zero three thousand. Just ask wow. to speak to Marsha. She'll take care of you. Stephanie I'm Elworth, <laughs> who is our Main Street Manager, her primary job is to focus on downtown development. Right. She will have all the answers on any projects that are ongoing in the downtown area. You are welcome to call me, but we do have a staff person dedicated just specifically for downtown, and that's Stephanie. Yeah, I wouldn't call Marsha for that information. I mean, you can call me. I'll answer. Or email me. Hampton M at ci.douglasville.ga.us. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, if on, you're going to give them the option, you got to give them the. On to the next project. <laughs> oh, well, what was the next project? Uh, we're using technology now, so in our and we it turns itself off. I guess it's a conservation method. Uh, lighting lighting and, and banners. banners. Lighting and banners phase one. Um, why was it called lighting and banners? Because we're getting lights and banners. Yeah, but it's not like a banner I think of. What kind of banner do you think of? Well, it's not going to be strung across the street like a big, you know. Do people think of banners like that? I don't I th think of a banner like that. I think of banners like I that. I think of a pole banner. That's different. It's I, a banner. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Marsha, describe, describe, describe this banner to me. What? Describe the banner. I don't understand the banner. It's a banner that hangs on the arm of a pole, a light pole. Oh, like our uh, Christmas decorations. Yeah. So that's a different kind of man. So you're just trying to ask me this question because you're under the assumption that most people will not <clears> understand <throat> what banners are? Well, when you say lighting and banners, I understand what lighting is. Well, and we'll describe that too, just so people don't assume. Mm -hmm. So I don't assume that anybody understands what lighting is in the downtown area. We're so what, be, what's lighting? We're going to be adding uh, pedestrian lighting. And what does that mean? 
Pedestrian lighting means that it is much smaller in scale. It's, and it just lights the sidewalks. It's not as bright, so we're not polluting the, the skyline any more than we have to. How tall is this pole? Uh, it's below the power line, so 15 feet maybe. Okay. It's, uh, it's a low profile pole, but it doesn't hang over the street, it hangs over the sidewalk. Okay, and it will go from where to where? Um, Camelton Street. At I-20. Um, at I-20. Uh, phase one goes on the, if you're traveling northbound on the right hand side, all the way up to Stuart Middle School, I believe, somewhere around in that area. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. You got yeah. it. Yeah. And then we will have brackets on the poles to be able to hold banners. Mm, yes. And those They'll hang off to the side. Yes. And then the banners will be vertical. That is correct. Between those two little posts. And those banners are typically side. utilized for us for advertising to let folks know when things are going on. Taste of Douglasville, chili cook off, you know, those type of activities that we host. July 4th, or even, as you said, for Christmas when we're being festive, we put banners on the pole so that it, it provides a nice aesthetic look to our poles. Okay. And they're going to be decorative, like the ones they in the will downtown be area. Yes. Got a little arm hanging over with a little acorn. Yes, very they call similar. call it an acorn to... light because it looks like an acorn. Yeah, very there. similar to what we have uh, currently on Church Street and Strickland and Bankhead Highway. Hey, yep. yep, just like that. Just like that, except shorter. Because those are street lights. How about on count on Church Street? Just in a small area, they're not. Right just in front, just in front of, of the Hall. Conference Center and City Hall. Those are that's sidewalk our, lights. That's our pedestrian That is light. correct. So that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at for banners and lighting phase one. So I'm assuming if there's a phase one, there is a phase two. Can't really talk about it. We can't? Mm -mm, no. Why not? No, it's not on this list. Okay, but it is up and coming. So maybe that's something that we can talk about next year and go one I one. hope so. Uh, you know, we're, we're in the process of trying to get that approved the same way we did uh, banners and lighting phase one. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we can tell them where it's going to be. They can okay. look forward to it. Where is it? It's on the other side of the street. Oh. Gotcha. So, okay, so with the that's... anticipation of, of building a sidewalk on the other side of the street. Oh, okay. So it's exciting. Very exciting. Lots of stuff going on. We're going to take a break. Yeah, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're back. Exciting topic, pro projects. That projects. means we're working and we're moving and we're shaking and. Yeah, absolutely. And we really didn't talk a whole lot about where the, well, of course we talked about the, the first uh, Plaza East project. We talked about where that money's coming from. Right. Um, Banners, Banners and, and lighting. We didn't, we didn't really talk about where the money's coming from. That's coming from transportation enhancement as well. Another TE project. Oh, both T projects. Actually a good source of money for any community who's yeah. looking to uh, beautify their downtown. They specifically look for projects, pedestrian uh, projects that look that go toward beautification. So we've gotten 500000 well, $400,000 in the first project for the Plaza East project. And this one for banners and lighting, we've gotten 500000 Yeah. So that's a, a huge chunk of money. Yeah. that we get from GDOT via the federal government. Right, right. And we have a, a small contribution to that, a yes. match. There's always a match. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually around 20%. Yep. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good bang for your buck, mm -hmm. uh, especially on some of these larger projects like that. We said we were going to talk about sidewalks. Yeah, uh, you're probably going to talk about sidewalks because I know these projects, but you probably know more a little bit more about these projects than me. So what's going you on with sidewalks? You know about these projects. Yeah, I, I kind of try to stay away from a little bit of sidewalks. So what's going on with the sidewalks? We got a lot of sidewalks getting ready to kick off. And where they're going? Arbor Parkway. Okay. It's in Arbor Station. Yes. Uh, Stewart Parkway. Yes. You know where that's at? Yes. Stewart Parkway right there off Highway 5. So basically all of that interconnected at some point. Malone Road. Mm -hmm. uh, sidewalk. Yes. And Club Drive mm -hmm. and Bowden Street. Where's all this money coming from? Whew. G dot. Really? D. Another TE project. Yeah, all those are TEs. So how much money did we get this time? Oh, it was a lot more. They must really like us. It was about $2 million. Okay, that's awesome. $2 yeah, million. $2 million, $2 million dollars in sidewalk projects. And we've been working on them for a number of years. Mm -hmm. uh, a number of project extensions, basically trying to get all the way through this process. You know, you, you, you plan for it, and then you find a creek. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go back to work. And then you plan some more, and you find another creek. 
So how long has this one taken? Uh, no, quite, about, quite a bit of time. Uh, probably almost as long as that uh, Plaza East project has been on the books. So this one will take pedestrians from where to where? I, I'm pretty certain there's some type of connectivity. We're not uh, just building sidewalks to build them. No, we're not just building sidewalks to build them. Um, Bowden Street, of course, you'll be going from the, uh, from the multi, the multi-use path mm -hmm. uh, along Selman. Okay. Uh, into the downtown. Gotcha. Uh, and the club drive thing will do, but the club drive sidewalk will basically do the same thing. It'll take you from the multi-use uh, sidewalk trail along uh, club mm -hmm. or along Selman uh, up club to the downtown area and we, where we have, of course, uh, a number of sidewalks. All right. What about the church. other ones? Uh, Arbor Parkway, mm -hmm. uh, sidewalk along, the Ar along Arbor Parkway. Okay. Uh, and it will take you in and out of Arbor Station. Uh, through Arbor Station, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll take you uh, all the way to Douglas Boulevard when it's all said and done. Because wow. you'll go, you'll go up Stewart Parkway, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll be at Douglas Boulevard right there at the uh, bus station. That's that's so, pretty impressive. Now, what about Malone Road? Malone will take you from 92 to the end of Malone, so you get into the residential areas mm -hmm. uh, all along that area, and. Uh, it's going to be an ample sidewalk. So for, we're uh, promoting a walkable community. You know, I think that's what everybody's trying to promote. Mm -hmm. A walkable community is a fit community. It's a pleasant community. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it gives everybody the opportunity to, to get out of that car and, uh, and, and walk. Especially since, I was, were you in that meeting, or did we receive a presentation from someone that mentioned to us that gas is going up to $10 a gallon? $10 a gallon? Yeah, he said that. Ooh. I was like, ooh, $10. By when? I don't know, but he he, he was made a consultant. Certain, yeah, he, he made, was pretty. He was pretty confident. Yeah, in he that. was adamant on the ten dollars a gallon. I was just thinking, wow, that'll be pretty interesting. So those sidewalks will come in handy. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, when when fuel pricing hits ten dollars a gallon, I think he said within the next five years. Too. Oh yeah, he I was mean, very serious. He said it's it's imminent. Yeah. I mean, we today, have to realize this today. He, he was stressing it. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Yeah that we were facing $10 a gallon. Wow. Yeah, people will be conserving for sure. Uh, and walking, you know, taking short trips, and hopefully these short trips are, you know, within, within less than a mile. Right. But short trips to the grocery store, back and forth to the convenience store, pick up necessity items that you need in and out of the house. I mean, you know, milk, bread, water, right. things you need when it snows. And hopefully these sidewalks are built so you can walk there. Absolutely. And yeah. give you an opportunity to go to get you some milk, bread, and water. Yeah, let's hope uh, we don't see that. Let's hope he was wrong. I mean, ten dollars a gallon. It's they say it's coming. Let's just hope he was wrong. He'll probably be right. Okay, on to the next project. That's pretty depressing. Oh, that uh, oh, we got to turn our turn our technology you back fix on. That. Sorry, that was all our sidewalk projects. All right. So what else we got? We got your favorite project. My favorite project. Favorite what project? is that? Downtown College. Oh, Center. my favorite project. Right Almost here. there. Almost there. Right here in the downtown area. Right here in the downtown area. In the city parking lot. The main city parking lot that we know of that's directly across from City Hall and the existing conference center. That will be the entire project site, including the former dental office and the municipal court building. So those two buildings will no longer exist. They're going to tear them down. They're going to tear them down. So that's What are they going to do with all the stuff? Well, we have actually been, when I say we, the city has actually been conserving a lot of the materials so we can recycle and reuse, and that's including those things that are in the building, the AC units, so we're not just being wasteful by taking everything and throwing them away. But the, um, and I'm pretty certain we're probably going to get calls for the brick, calls for uh, the variety of materials that are on the house, but we are recycling those, so we're trying to be good stewards Great. of the land. Um, but we will commence... Uh, construction shortly. I would say sometime mid-October uh, we can look to do that. So parking will be a little bit different in the downtown area. We're just making certain that folks understand that. Just a minor inconvenience, not much. Uh, but as we've said earlier with all the other projects, there are opportunities for people to park in other places. And we were released a parking deck early. A parking deck. So you didn't say a parking deck. Oh, I was just getting ready to ask you about that. Parking deck. That is in conjunction with the conference center. Where's 300 cars. Right adjacent to it. Pretty much the same building. You won't be able to tell the difference. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. So 300, 300 space parking deck. Yes. They're going to be those little bitty spaces for these compact cars? No, I think you'll be able to get an SUV in there. You probably have to park on the top, but, you know, you won't be able to park like on some of these in places next to the poles, but you will be able to park. So we will eliminate 133 spaces, but we will add back. Within six months. Within six months. 
300 spaces. 300 spaces. So the downtown area will be made whole um, by being able and to have. Some. And then some, yes. And you will, you will have an upgraded parking lot in Plaza East. And then all of the on-street parking will still be available. Here's a question that we have every single time we go to a meeting. What's that? Is that going to be paid parking? I am going to say the council has not made a dis No. As far as I know, it will not be paid parking. Um, the council has uh, said from the beginning that they intend for this to be free parking for downtown. Um, we are getting a new administration next year, so I can't tell you what that group of elected officials will say. But what I can tell you that the current elected officials have said is that they intend for the parking to be free. Okay. So free parking in the downtown. Yes. So it's no different than it is now. No. No difference. How about the people who have parking deck phobia? Well, I would be included in that category of people who don't like parking in parking decks. I will just park as I normally do on the street. I don't have to park in the parking deck. Okay. I'm not concerned about inclement weather. I'm not concerned about any of that stuff. I'll just remain where I'm normally parked. You don't park on the street now. You park well, in the parking I, I, lot. I park somewhere that's just be out. It's not covered. Oh, okay. All right. Same condition. I just, yeah. I won't, Same space. I won't have a covered space. Okay. I don't need that. All right. All right. You couldn't just park on the top? No. I'm not driving through it. Okay. All just right. The whole thing of just something over your head, it's just kind of, just, it's just weird. Okay. Especially if I'm driving. Somebody mm -hmm. else is driving, I can somewhat handle it, but if I'm driving, it's just kind of not right. So we got a 300 space parking deck. Those things and clowns really don't, I don't do well with. <laughs> There's not going to be any clowns in the conference center. Hope not. For now. It's going to be two stories on one side, three stories on the other. We'll have two stories on the Church Street side. Yes. And three stories on the Spring Street side. Yes. Uh, entries in both entries and exits at both uh, both streets. Yes. Spring and Church. Mm -hmm. So you know it's it's available now. What about this conference center? Conference center will be great. We are getting about thirty-seven thousand square feet of space. We we'll have a main ballroom that seats five hundred and sixty. We'll have three auxiliary rooms that will seat anywhere from 50 to 125. We'll have an auditorium that seats 150. Um, we will have two pre-function areas, which will allow us to host two events simultaneously and allowing them to have their own individual pre-function spaces. So that's something that we currently don't get with the existing conference center. And we will have a full service kitchen that will have an on-site <coughs> caterer. So that will be the difference between the two facilities. If somebody's interested in bringing in their own caterer, they will have to utilize the existing facility. Okay. But if they are interested in uh, using the on-site caterer, they will be uh, welcome to use the new facility. So is there, a, I, I didn't hear you say boardroom. There is a boardroom. So if you're interested in that, you are welcome to, I think it's a 15 seat boardroom. You can pretty have fancy. meetings. Pretty It's pretty swank. I mean, you know, I'm not worthy, but I'm pretty certain there are others out there who are. Okay. Yeah. So who do they need to contact for starting to rent? When are we gonna start renting this We thing? will start renting it in the spring when we have a clear idea of when the parking deck has been released mm -hmm. and whether or not we're going to have the conference center turned over to us uh, at the end of next year or early 2013. So we just really want to be a little bit more sure on the okay. schedule before we start booking parties. The last thing we want to do is to spoil a bride's wedding by saying, oops, sorry, we didn't make it. We didn't make it. They can't just postpone those things. Uh, typically not. You're married, right? That yeah. probably wouldn't have worked in your case either. Ah, I'm sure it would have. But, yeah, okay. I mean, we're sure. all about being amenable to <laughs> programming and scheduling. No, we understand that. Yeah, well, I can tell you right now, my mother wouldn't have. Oh, yeah. After all the deposits were put down and... Oh, that, they can't just reschedule all that. That's... Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Okay. Yeah. Harden Construction. Yes. Building our conference center. They are building our conference center. Large company. Very large. Uh, they've built a... How many square feet of conference space? Like it's a, a lot. billion? Yeah, it's like 38 conference centers, I think, that they've built. I thought it was like 138. No, I think that was that other company. <laughs> I think that was Bast and Cook. Uh, there's a lot of, they've built a lot of conference center, center space, a lot of parking decks. Yes. Um, so we get a good, a good experienced company mm -hmm. uh, to the table. Mm -hmm. um, so right here in downtown. Right. Kicking off in October. That's right. Fencers are going up. Mm hmm not as we speak, but they will be shortly. We'll be soon. Everybody will be notified. We try to do a very good job of being proactive and letting people know when um, things are happening and just giving them a heads up and making certain they're fully aware. We've had a num aware. number of meetings with our mm -hmm. downtown merchants in the, in, in, in the area. Mm -hmm. I think it was on the news one time, Channel 2. I was shocked by that. Came out, wanted to talk to us about how we were on the front end and yeah, letting people know. That. You know, it, it's... Uh, it, you know, when, when we lay it out and we look at where people park at the mall mm -hmm. and they walk, 
a half a mile right. to get into the mall. Mm -hmm. But they come to the downtown area, they want to park right in front of the building. And, Doesn't seem right. And honestly, they don't really park right in front of the building if they're parking in that parking lot across the street because right in front of the building is usually on Bankhead. Right. So they're having to go from one side to the other, so there's typically a walk involved. And there's plenty of uh, on-street parking in the downtown area that we've discovered uh, that's available uh, and highly underutilized. Yeah. And one thing I always try to tell people to keep in mind is that typically when you go to other cities, Marietta being a good example, it's close enough and most folks have been there, it's very difficult to find parking in Marietta. Right. That's actually a good thing. That's a good thing because that means businesses are thriving, people are going there, that means there is an active downtown. When you go in your downtown and you can easily find parking, hmm. Yeah. That, that, that says something and you know and what we want to do is to create an environment where no we don't want to make it difficult to find parking but we don't want you to be able to park in front of your front door either right. because that's that's a sign that our economy here is not doing as well I think we had a consultant say that uh, it, that some of those towns like Marietta mm -hmm. and, and a couple of others uh, you wanted to park and walk you didn't right. really care where you parked you just wanted to walk well, I, and I think I had an opinion that was a little bit different than that and that was that you see a parking space, you better get in it because there might not be another one uh, for a couple, a couple right. miles and you might want to just go ahead and pull into the first one you find. That's right. That's, you know, once, once, uh, once all this is done, that's probably going to be the case in the downtown. We're probably still going to have 300 spaces in the parking deck and nowhere to park in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. That'll be awesome. That would be great. That would be great for our businesses. And, and one of the things that I do hope that from all of this construction and I guess kind of wrapping it up, I guess we're getting long winded, but all of this I don't construction. Know. I can't even see the other end of the room, so. I mean. All of this construction, one of the things that I do hope is that for those folks who are coming in, the construction workers, the people that will be here, that they will patronize our business and that our local businesses, especially our restaurants, will be able to see uh, a, a pike, a peak, pike, pike. What is that? Spark. spark. What am I talking about? What spike. Word? Spike. That word. I said the P, not the S. But anyway, a spike in business uh, throughout the next 12 months because I think it's going to be, what, 200 employees that they will not normally see on a daily basis coming in into yeah, the downtown? absolutely. And those folks will be bussed in. So they won't have any other choice other than bring their lunch because yeah. they're pretty much here. They're here. They're captive. They're a captive audience. That's so right. that's going to be great for our restaurants, and hopefully uh, everybody finds a place to park in the downtown. If you can't, call Marsha. She'll take care of you. And hopefully the restaurants will have a wait. Yeah, no, absolutely. That would be great. And then Marshall directs you to Stephanie. Stephanie will make sure you find a parking space. She'll probably call Greg. He'll get you valet. And I heard people are coming after hour, like a happy hour too. Yeah, absolutely. The yeah. Folks are interested it's a, in it. It's a great opportunity for Huge. downtown. Huge. Um, so we, we look at this as a as a positive, not yes. a negative. Definitely. And it's a it's a little bit of a little bit of pain and suffering for a very short time for a huge gain in the end. A huge gain. A huge game. All right, so what other game we have before we close? We're finishing up a project. And what's that? Uh, Hunter Park. Huge. Huge. We're huge gonna be, We're going to be back in fall ball here in Hunter Park on the fields sh very shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as this show wraps up, uh, you'll be at Hunter Park. I think that's great. I think people... Without folks the been, geese. That's right, and folks have been using the community center already, so yeah. I think that they've been out there. They see the work that's been done. Lots of changes. It's totally a, uh, a total different park than... Yeah over a year ago. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's great. Well, I'm excited about it. So join us next time on Gov 101. I'm Jeff Knowles. I'm Marsha Hampton. I'll see you next time.